All right, we're going to take a look at a factoring question here. This is 4 times x minus 2 cubed minus 7 times x minus 3 minus 3. So we want to factor this question here. Um, you can expand this out. This is the power of 3. You can expand that all out, collect like terms. be a lot of work. Uh, you may be able to break this polynomial down. Uh, but the observation here to factor this would be that this resembles the following polynomial. And we know if, okay, if I go to do synthetic division on this, I'd have a 4, 0, negative 7, minus 3. If you check this at a negative 1 here, let's see if that's a root for this polynomial at negative 1. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get negative 4, negative 4, 4, negative 3, 3, and 0. So in fact, this is a root. So this polynomial here is going to break down into t plus 1 times 4t squared minus 4t minus 3. And now if we look at this expression here, we can factor this. Um, you can do charting, whatever method that you use. Now if I go to factor this here, um, and this come up to be a negative 4, and you'll see these two columns here work. So if you go to factor this further, again using decomposition charting, this will factor into t plus 1. So just treating it like a quadratic here. This factors into 2t minus 3 and 2t plus 1. Um, but it is not a, a t. It is actually an x minus 2. So this would be x minus 2 plus 1, 2 times x minus 2 minus 3, and 2 times x minus 2 plus 1. And then we should expand this out. You get x minus 1. This is going to give me 2x, and then that'll be minus 4 minus 3. That'll be minus 7, and this is going to be 2x minus 3. So the following polynomial here factors into x minus 1, 2x minus 7, and 2x minus 3. So this is an example of a, sort of doing a substitution, going through synthetic division, factoring the polynomial like a normal uh, quadratic after your synthetic division, and then resubstituting uh, in your t value, which is x minus 2, and then just cleaning it up a bit. Thank you.